Hi. So this will be another type of uh, rational inequalities. So which is uh, already uh, one side is zero means that this will be a positive, all right? A positive more than zero means positive. Uh, the situation is positive. So okay, how to deal with this type of uh, which is not a number, right? Uh, the previous video I talked about the, the the number, right? The number that one in, you just observe, right? But this case unknown, so unknown, right? Unknown. We don't know either this one positive or this one negative. We don't know. So in this case, uh, it may be very useful. We use the table of sign. Uh, I go introduce what is uh, mean by the table of sign. So okay, you draw out a tables, a tables. Then you have two critical. Uh, you have two values here. You have negative one. All right. Uh, in your mind, you know that x plus 1 is uh, equals to 0 and negative 1, and x equals to 3, right? Uh, I can say this is a critical values for this. Uh, uh, critical values means uh, after this point, happen, they happen something. Either they are changing of sign or, uh, or it may remain the same. So the negative 1 and 3, the... It's a critical critical value here. So you have to know that you can divide the region into negative 1 and 3. Uh, this is after 3, in between, and before. So, but at first you must remember that this is a fraction, right? So x cannot take 3, right? Because 3 minus 3 is 0. You cannot divide a number by a 0, right? Uh, it's undefined. Eh? So you cannot divide a number by 0. So I, I, I know that x cannot be. Three. Ah, I have to know this. So first, I I draw out a table which divide into three region, right? Three region, which is x. Uh, okay, I can write this way. I can put it as a negative one. All right, a negative one and three, right? Negative one and three. So now, this is the region where x less than negative one is between negative 1 to 3 and after 3. So I can put x plus 1 divided by x, uh, x minus 3, right? So very simple. Okay, let's see. The trick here is negative 1, right? Negative 1. Means if you see that there's a negative 1 here, is, uh, is from here, right? So means after this line, after this line, everything will be positive. Okay, now? Uh, it will be positive and the remaining one will be negative so let's look at the next one i hope you understand my meaning nine negative three three come from x minus three right so after this line you were positive all right uh, means three so this one will be negative all right uh, this is the very simple way of uh, solving the rational inequality so now then finally, you have x plus 1 divided by x minus 3, right? x minus 3. So now you decide because you take division, right? Division. So if you're negative, divide by negative. This is a negative. Divide by negative, you will have positive. Uh, positive divided by negative, you have negative. And positive divided by positive, you have positive. Now, uh, this is the region where you need to decide which to choose. So you look at here, this is a positive, right? Uh, positive situation. So you will choose the positive region, right? Positive region. So now you can see that it's actually uh, less than, all right? Uh, this one and this one, right? Uh, less than negative one. So x less or equal negative one. This region or this region, right? Uh, or this one or x greater or equal 3 uh, will be my solution. But there is a mistake that I make. Initially, I know that x shouldn't be 3. x cannot include 3, right? Cannot include 3. So if I put an equal here, means I include 3, right? So I need to take out the 3 uh, because I cannot take 3. Negative 1 is okay, right? Above, uh, the numerator can be 0, but the denominator cannot be 0. So this is the way I'm using the table of sign so okay let's look at the next video if you are not very understand for this uh, example